Hello and welcome to a new game that we are going to be doing today and it is Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to try to do this a little bit differently than most of my playthroughs. Maybe a little bit more editing will go into this. Um, this is my next big uh, like playthrough, I guess you would call it. It's not really a let's play because there's no story. Anyway! Um, yeah, I'm turning off missing crew respawns, like, it, it normally, like, if you set it to normal, it's on. I'm literally just clicking it, that's it. That's all that's happening here. Uh, we're doing, K uh, we're gonna call KSP, keep the Kerbal Space Program flag, and career. Alrighty, let's get this started, and we're gonna start off by probably making a, uh, I've got it. Let's go ahead and grab our first two. Uh, if you see me struggling up here in the top right hand corner to click on things, it's because my uh, FPS counter is up there. You can't see it, but it tells me how long I've recorded and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and just throw this out there, go straight into the science, grab this, just throw that on there really doesn't matter. We're going to get out our handy dandy Bob. Uh, there goes my phone. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get out handy dandy Bob because he is a scientist. And our scientist is going to go ahead and earn us a bit of science. We're going to do a crew report. Uh, we can go ahead and swing around back here grab this it's just the beginning stuff you know that you do in Kerbal um, you know just EVA report while flying um, then we're gonna store it and then we're gonna EVA report here and we're gonna go ahead and recover and then we're gonna turn around and click on the got 7.4 for that and then we're gonna go ahead and recover and get 4.5 because I think we didn't get as much because he wasn't on there oh and I get no science from the oh that's nice to know okay so that's considered the same thing okay that's good I guess um, we recovered everything so we got our funds back we're gonna go ahead and quickly grab these two And I guess do we have any more? Nope. Okay. Then our first thing is going to be to launch. I guess get you know up in the air a little. Uh, I do know a bit <laughs> about Kerbal Space. For you know what? Forget that. We're just gonna go to. I don't remember where it is. Oh, it's coupling. Duh. Thought it was in structure. And, it, and my phone's going off. Anyway. <laughs> um, I do know quite a bit about Kerbal. I can play Kerbal. Like, I haven't made it... I've made it to the moon, but I've never made it to, like, another planet. So, we are definitely going to be having some fun with... The, oh, we got the temperature gauge. I was just checking that. I was like, hmm, I wonder if we got anything... Alright, I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, it's just I'm, uh, in the middle of sitting here, getting ready to launch, and we probably shouldn't have had Bob Kerman there. Yeah, because I can't use SAS, okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and do something really stupid, we're <laughs> just gonna go ahead and do that, recover vessel. Uh, I, I, you know what? I guess I could keep him, but it's good to that we got that science sitting on the launch pad anyway. Uh, let's just go ahead and relaunch with him. Um, I won't start naming the ships until we actually can make it into space. Um, I'm pretty sure I could actually build the ship right this second. I can make it into space, but we will see. Oh no, that I didn't expect it to go like backwards. Alright, we're going to break that off. We are going to 
observe the mystery goo while in flight and we are going to log temperature while in flight and we are going to do a crew report while in flight okay and now that we are going to start descending towards the planet I'm gonna time accelerate uh, go ahead and release the parachute yep and we just had our first successful launch with a non-pilot so <laughs> Um, you know what? Oh yeah, he can't EVA because he's not on the surface. Because I don't have that upgrade. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to EVA. And then reboard and just grab it. There probably won't be too many cuts in this first episode. The rest episodes I'm definitely going to be cutting quite a bit. Oh, I could really use that for the extra science. But I need the rocketry so I can get farther. Especially this fuel tank and the swivel engine. Wait, I have the swivel engine? I did I, th I thought I had I thought you needed to upgrade the to the swivel. Hold on. Cause if I have the swivel, oh yeah, I have the swivel. Well, crap! I didn't know that. Ah. I can't remember what it is to copy it. Oh well. <laughs> I don't want to sit here and try that for five hours. So. What we're going to do is this, and since I have the swivel engine apparently, we'll put that on there. We'll go ahead and grab a decoupler. Uh, note that this is not me trying to go into orbit, this is me trying to go um, probably to the mountains. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get you know what? Let's get Valentina. Double check, make sure our staging. That is another thing I will not be reverting. If somebody dies, they're dead. There's a reason I don't have crew respawns on. Um, I don't remember if uh, what do you call it? Respawn the original four. Uh, it used to be the original three, but I don't know if the original four respawn. Um, so we're gonna have to check on that. Yeah, we're gonna try to head to these mountains, or at least this grass area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go ahead and, uh, fix that there, Sparky. That was a little unnecessary. Actually going a little, whoa. Man, I really need some fins. Come on, stop fighting me. You can't tell I'm having a little bit of problems. Why are you rotating that way? Like it won't let me pull myself back over. There we go. No, nope, now you're going too far. I am not having a good time. There we go. Well, let's speed this up, see where we're going. You know what, let's just get rid of that. See where we're heading. Oh god. Uh, well, we might as well do our crew reports and stuff. Oh, I forgot to put the barometer on there. Gosh dang it. Uh, 
uh, we'll reset that and get that later. There we go. Alright, we'll speed this up. And then we will descent to the ground. Slowly, eventually. And we're here. So we're going to go ahead and grab our crew report now that we're on the ground. Never mind. I forgot it was the mystery goo. Yep. There we go. EVA this thing. By this thing, I mean Valentina. Um, okay. And recover vessel. We're just trying to boost the amount of science that we get, so that way we can actually uh, get the rocket parts that I want. So, we are getting up there now. There's 17, so we should... Oh! I thought it was 17! If I wouldn't have forgot that bloody bar barometer, it would have been fine. Come on, get in there. I'm just gonna throw this on there. Because I'm lazy and I don't want to launch just for literally 0 0.9 science. So, what we're gonna do is we are just going to log it and then recover. That way, we don't waste any money or anything. Boom, look at that, we now have 20 science, haha. -ha. <laughs> so, we go ahead and get those, because they also come with the radial decouplers, which is nice. So now, we are actually going to build, if I can ever get anywhere near it, we are actually going to build a ship, but not for orbit. I know that this is probably going to drive y'all crazy, we're not even going to try to get into space. Um, for our entire first um, episode, probably. Our main thing is we need to get to... Um, what's it called? We get Jebediah for this one. Um, we need to get to the desert to our left, and then we also need to get to the North Pole. Uh, this one, I think, should have enough fuel in it to get to the desert to the left. Not that I say you should. Uh, I forgot to put any wings on it. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> So this is our uh, penis rocket, I guess. We are flying, and we're going to try to get to uh, the desert over here, which is this. I should have definitely limited the thrust on this. happy with that. Sure. Stay right there. Well, I mean, we can at least get to the mountains pretty easily. You know what? That's where we're going to go this time. Um, because we still haven't gotten the mountains yet. So, I mean, it's a little bit of a waste of fuel, but... I think it would actually be easier to get to this if we actually went all the way out into space and then just went over, because then we wouldn't have the air resistance on us the whole time, which would make it a little bit more fuel efficient. I'm going to just spin this rocket around. I'm 
then we're gonna speed up time just a little bit just so we can get over the mountain like I'm landing on the moon but uh <laughs> we actually don't need to land we need to crash so I'm gonna go ahead and burn off the rest of this fuel and then open up our parachute and we landed in a decently um, level place. I, I, my main thing was I just didn't want to land like on the side of the cliff and then roll like here and then slide all the way down and blow up. Okay, we still might. Whew. That was close. Very close. So we're going to go ahead and log our pressure, crew report, I'm not going to risk getting Jebediah out of the capsule, considering the capsule is still moving on its own, and my phone is going off again. Alrighty, we now have enough science for nothing. I thought we'd get more science from that. Okay. Anyway, this has been the end of the first episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, the next uh, the next episodes will have some cuts in them. Uh, I won't just sit there and make you guys sit through like all the loading screens and me building the ships and everything. Unless you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, a lot of it's going to be just like me launching the ships and somebody's blowing up my phone. Alrighty. I'm gonna throw my memories away Now I feel I'm done And I am cursed by every day Till my time is gone I've never felt this way before And now I know this all for sure I won't forget your last betray I'll never forget this day